without further ado, let's go. And uh, boom shagalaka. In the previous episode of Nomadic Fanatic, how did I get here and why does my butt hurt? How did I get here and why does my butt hurt? Yeah, it hurts. All right, good morning everyone. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing well. On the intersection here of that operations building, there's a little platform up there. Palm trees, palm trees, palm trees, palm trees. The Kennedy Space Center, KFC, KCS. <laughs> and uh, look, it's pretty old. Astronaut parking only from the 60s. Mission control set to take place in the 60s. This will be interesting. Hanging out with my buddy Robert. My buddy Robert's here. Robert, my buddy mechanic that uh, helped me with a bunch of stuff back at home base. Well, Robert here. And then, look at that rocket, guys. Look at this. Here in the vault, they have a return capsule on display with the three seats in there. That's pretty cool. Look at all the locks and mechanisms on the door. Jeez. So even though a lot of people think it's a hoax, there's one of the cameras how they could broadcast from the moon. Medical data. We recorded everything from the practice simulation. They don't know. All we need from you is the actual television transmissions. Yeah, a little bigger than my GoPro. They've got a lunar module on display here. That's pretty cool. Look, they got they got Dish Network on there. And uh, I think that's a Starlink dish up there too, yeah. <laughs> Playing golf on the moon. There's some moon rock you can go in here and touch. One of these places that received the rock was that of the Dutch National Museum. It treasured this piece of rock and was the centerpiece of the museum. However, after tests were carried out on the rock, it turned out the object is nothing more than a piece of wood. The BBC reported it was given to former Prime Minister Wilhelm Dries, and this was during a goodwill tour by the three Apollo 11 astronauts shortly after their moon mission in 1969. When the Prime Minister passed away, the rock was then put on display in the museum. Due to the size and how rare the object was, reports said it was even insured for over $500,000. Interestingly, although the museum now knows the rock isn't genuine, they have said they're still going to keep it as a curiosity. One of the lead investigators said the following about the rock. It's a good story with some questions that are still unanswered. We can laugh about it. The fake rock is now known by its item number NG1991425. Hollow monument here. Is this to the ones who died? No, this is the ones who landed on the moon. Collins, Armstrong, and Buzz Aldrin. My buddy Robert's taking a day off from working on a bus. He's gonna be uh, working on my Harley. Decided that uh, I need something on my Harley, so what, what are we doing here? Stuff. Stuff. It's a secret. You gotta wait till the end of the video. Yeah. While he's working on the Harley, I'll uh, show you what I got at NASA here. Got yeah. me a new ball cap. Yeah, and this is just me being a little bit transparent with you. Um, it, it's possible that I may have bitten off a little more than I can chew with this. Uh, I really wanted a motorcycle for Florida, so, you know, will this bike be traveling all the way back to Arizona to my property? I don't know. I was thinking about storing it here in Florida, so I always have a motorcycle here. Something where I could just take the car, drop the car off, get on the bike, always have a bike, but also still have the car, so stay tuned. I'm not leaving Florida until at least March. 